Hello everyone, this is Muffin Man Country with StarCraft Star Battle. This is a 6 on 6 ship but action game starting out Mirari Plasma. Mirari Plasma gonna come on in there with 1.61 speed and 5 upgrades on his on his plasma shields. Is the tank gonna be as tanky as possible? Uh, computer, gonna come on in there with an okay amount of speed, uh, 1.61, has extra money around for uh, longboat missiles and range, up to 9. Uh, Stone Cold, gonna come on in there with uh, some interceptors to do uh, you know, 22 damage, uh, great for farming, great for capital ships. Uh, we got Journey coming on in there. He has a 1.71 speed and two upgrades on his laser batteries and backlash rockets. You get range, basically. He upgraded it two times. We got a uh, Shift. Gonna come on in there with a uh, uh, Arbiter and also the ability to feedback up against them. They're gonna go for Prime. Prime looks like he went for 1.71 speed and one or so range, uh, upgrades on his uh, laser batteries and uh, and uh, longboat missiles. Um, looks like uh, Agamemnon is gonna come on in there with uh, four burst lasers. Burst lasers, uh, meaning that he can definitely one-shot farm. Look at all this one-shot farming that he's getting right here. Fantastic. Only has the ability to uh, shield transfer, which is what he starts off with just naturally as a raven. Uh, is somewhat helpful to do. Um, it's always good to try to get some money, but a little bit of a trade-off because he doesn't have any um, other upgrades right there. I'll touch you just launched his uh, Scourge. Scourge did a whole bunch of damage against Computer. Happy to be not get quite into the, um, into the uh, whole damage right there, but Shift is very close. Can choose to uh, recharge shields. Does not choose to do that right now. Has feedback. We can only do it right about now. Looks like he ends up using against the Gerbs. The Gerbs. Looks like he has a 1.81 speed. Four burst lasers as well. Well, the uh, Arbiter equivalent of uh, burst lasers, which are phase disruptors. Again, one shot farming. Fantastic ability to get that money right there when he gets close. However, only has his innate ability as well, which, which is recharge shields. Um, looks like, uh, again, they also have a JJ Beast on the blue side. Looks like he went for that plague, which is a very standard ability for the Overlord to get. It's one of those, like, you can choose not to do it, but if you're not going to do it, please just type in the comments, like, I don't have plague, or, like, I want to farm, or whatever the case might be. Uh, because it, people just expect you to have it as an Overlord. And it's sort of a good reason, though. Look at that right there. Burns away computer. It's going to do some damage to the hull right now. Uh, it ignores shields, but burns hull. So things that can't repair themselves, like most ships can't, um, it automatically charges them, to, uh, forces them to get some extra, uh, you know, hull damage at the very beginning of the game. It looks like Ducey is going to come on in there. Ducey, 1.41 speed, n n nothing else. So he doesn't have any, other, any abilities. He has all the money in the world, but that's because he didn't spend it at base. Uh, let's see if that ends up uh, you know, being a mistake that's going to be uh, you know, uh, crucial right now. Looks like Stone Cold going to fly around. He went back to base. He got warp. He may have actually gotten quick warp back. Uh, special carrier ability to warp back without the uh, warp um, cooldown. And that can help him go there, get some money, get back, get, then spend it, then go back to base, then go back to uh, the attack, and spend more money. Uh, is good to do as a carrier. Uh, if you have that ability, uh, it's you know it's good to do. It just also you know, is a choice whether you want to uh, actually do it and spend a little bit less money on other stuff. But let's see what he ends up doing. He has uh, Abathur against him, Abathur the Leviathan. Um, uh, and uh, it looks like 1.61 speed has the infield Probably, I would say. We'll see if it flashes up to just confirm that in a second. There we go. It does for a second. When he is not taking damage, he can upgrade his ship, uh, his base abilities. 1.61 speed, he can upgrade that some more if he wants uh, anything in this little compartment right there. You do say, gonna take a whole bunch of damage. And uh, I think the red side is uh, you know, just kind of uh, going around him. The blue side is has a bunch of supports. The supports don't necessarily have any abilities, which is fine in the sense that they can get a whole bunch of money. It does cost the team a little bit of a... Uh, I mean, they don't have, if you spend money on uh, base abilities, you don't have anything for fancy stuff. And if you're a support ship and don't have any fancy stuff, it's just a, uh, a slight delay on that. However, if, once you get the money, like, look, there's 6, uh, 18 already to spend it based on whatever he wants. He can buy whatever is most important there. EMP is a good ability. Feedback's a great, a good ability. Doesn't mean that you have to have them right there. Mirari Plasma is a is a plague. You see, he's a shield tank. Has extra shields. That plague uh, forced the red side to get back. Uh, they do have a little bit of money though. Looks like Stone Cold's gonna work back to base from here to there with a uh, 517 uh, shift. He's gonna have 551, 625 from Duce. Uh, Mirari Plasma 864 and uh, computer going back has about a thousand money. Trying to get a little bit more, a little bit closer to a thousand money. Six nine sixty, close enough. Um, we got a Journey 774, so they uh, they were able to farm pretty effectively. However, the uh, you know, uh, the Gerbs uh, and uh, 
Agamemnon do have one shot farming. They will have it for the next couple of minutes. So in this moment right now, they're going to be in the pretty much the Goldilocks zone right here uh, with the ability to make uh, one shot farming as opposed to something like, well that was a good choice, Prime, uh, as opposed to something like um, Needle Spines at zero, two shot farming. Yes, that one shot versus two shot difference is not the worst, but it could be, but it is helpful when you are trying to farm. Plus it's super helpful to just, you know, attack some interceptors. Um, they're not super upgraded at the moment, so you know there is some merit to the one shot, um, to the one shot farming even as a support unit. Looks like Prime's gonna have to make these uh, wide turns to get on back to base. He does have a 1.82 speed, which is pretty decent. Uh, laser batteries at four, uh, eight range on his uh, laser battery. Mini he only upgraded once, but that's just fine. Let's see. The blue side does seem like they're getting back before any, any real types of damage uh, can happen. It looks like we have some uh, tempest on here from Stone Cold. Uh, he went for the uh, Tempest th in the very beginning of the game. Uh, can he has to now split his money between Interceptors and Tempest, and it looks like the Gerbs is going to be in a uh, danger position. He's going to get some healing from Agamemnon. Agamemnon is going to have to help him push back. Oh, speaking of Miss Plague, uh, we got the Gerbs running away. We got I'll Touch You flying into the gas. He, just, he had, went for a uh, Scourge in the very, very beginning of the game. Did not go for a uh, Dark Swarm, which is just which is fine. It does more damage right now. It would have given, given him some cover right now, but it looks like Mirai Plasma is trying to push, 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 push. He does have. Uh, thermal Lance is on uh, cooldown. He doesn't have enough energy. Now he does. He's not, not in the uh, position, though. Looks like the red side was not able to get a kill right there. Blue side generally hurt, but not in, but not dead. Uh, looks like Duce is going to move on in there. He's at 1.82 speed. So you know how we didn't upgrade in the very beginning of the game? He decided that speed was a good idea. And you know what? I agree with you. Even though as a Dreadnought you start off with less uh, speed, you can upgrade it more. It's going to cost you more to get as fast as, let's say, um, this uh, battle cruiser has 1.82 speed as well, and it didn't cost him as much. It only cost him the 200 uh, money uh, for it uh, versus the 400 uh, money upgrade for it. But 1.82 speed on a dreadnought is just as fast as 1.82 speed on a battle cruiser. Uh, it just cost him more to get there. We got Altus who diving in there. Now he is taking a whole bunch of damage from Stone Cold. The uh, needle spines and everything else do auto target a certain uh, hierarchy. The um, uh, you know the the capital ships are sometimes taking up that that hierarchy right there. So the uh, the, the Tempest were able to get a little bit, a couple of extra shots in there. Plus they were kind of hidden by the gas. Great placement from Stone Cold. Okay, computer going to move on in there. His one point. Uh, you know, 7-1 speed, a little bit slower, just have missile pods, which is a choice. It's a decent ability, one, 125 uh, to an area, um, no matter what, plus 475 to massive. So, you know, if you get a whole bunch, if you have um, these scouts coming in there, you don't want to see them anymore, you can do that. If you have some scourge coming in there, you could try to kill them. Will he use it right there? He does, it doesn't quite hit all of them in enough time. But it is a good way of, uh, you know, adding some extra damage in the area. It didn't necessarily kill the, the Scourge right there. However, it did hurt them. And maybe with enough um, shields or with another couple of extra laser batteries, he might have been able to take out some extra ones. Maybe a little bit more range. It kind of depends. Uh, but look at these. Uh, look at that EMP right there on those Tempests. Those Tempests are, uh, you know, early game Tempests. Uh, so obviously the money situation is just not there. He does have 936 to spend at base whenever he wants to, but he has to choose between uh, upgrading the um, energy just to use the Tempest, uh, 225, uh, when he only has a maximum of 300. If they were to die right now, he couldn't respawn them until he gets another uh, 225. Or he could spend it on his Interceptors, or he could spend it on his Tempest, or he could spend it on Tempest Range, or he could spend it on his own speed, um, his other abilities. It, everything costs money as a carrier. And uh, early game Tempest, although always helpful, especially against um, many things like the uh, uh, Ravens and Arbiters and all that type of fun stuff, doesn't mean that they're overpowered. They're just, they will get good eventually, but everything costs money. We got Shift moving on in there. Shift wants to get some hungry, hungry, uh, you know, feedbacks on the uh, I'll Touch You. Doesn't necessarily do that. I think he saw these uh, House Tempests coming in from the uh, blue side, just Mothership and doesn't want to die from those, or not die, just take some extra damage. Blue side running away, looks like the blue side has uh, 468 for Avathar. Now he's going back to base, meaning he wants to get something that he can't buy normally. He can't buy, uh, you know, any of these stuff. Learned abilities. Looks like he's going to go for some really good ones too. He's got some uh, rapid regeneration. Looks like he has adaptive plating and uh, organic car carapace, metamorphosis, and acid spray. Yes. Um, and all that stuff is fantastic. He just can't use upgraded at base. What he can do now is uh, upgrade um, some of the energy to use those abilities. But 
if you're going to go back to base as a uh, Leviathan, then it does make some sense to, uh, you know, buy buy the fancy stuff and then pay for it later. A little bit of a credit card ability. Uh, we have Agamemnon using that fantastic blackout on Mirari, Mirari Plasma and Duce. Duce does, is trying to get aggressive, but he's actually in the position where he can't quite do that. we got some uh, Scourge coming out in there. Journey, uh, will these uh, Scourge take him out? Actually, it probably will do a whole bunch of damage. Almost. Yes, it does. The Journey is taken out by Al Tachu in the very beginning of the game. Al Tachu wants to go for even further and go for a... Um, Go for a computer. Beautiful uh, vortex from Stone Cold uh, on the Overlord right there. Uh, I'll touch you went for the went for the uh, injured battle cruiser, but the carrier survived. And now Prime is flying around trying to protect. Looks like a uh, looks like it was a two for one special on um on a uh, on, on blue blue units right there. He was able to grab uh, JJ Beast as well as the Gerbs. The Gerb still ha doesn't have any abilities, has 2.02 speed, and a whole bunch of phase disruptors can actually do a whole bunch of damage against the, um, against the interceptors. Will the nuke get there? No. It was close, though. Uh, it does chase for about, um, you know, like 30-ish seconds. 15 seconds. Um, and flies about 1.82 speed, so the fact that, um, computer had a decent amount of speed, maybe an okay amount of speed, uh, 1.71, was okay enough to, uh, you know, to get on back there and uh, not giving too much of a radio headache. Okay, that's too far. We got um, Rari Plasma. Take a whole bunch of damage from uh, that Acid Spray. That Acid Spray does uh, 100 damage uh, plus 500 versus Massive in an area over 8 seconds. Really fantastic ability to use against Interceptors. Even though it only does the 100 part of that uh, 100 plus 500 uh, equation, the 100 in the area against Interceptors is generally pretty worth it. We got the the Gerbs moving back. We got I'll touch you launching some uh, some Scourge. A little bit of uh, delayed reaction uh, feedback. If he had feedbacked a little bit quicker, he might have been able to stop the um, the I'll touch you's. But he does have Adrenal Overload, which restores uh, 200 energy at the cost of uh, 1500 life. Pretty darn worth it. He basically has the Guardian Triangle right here. Oh no, he's launching a scour he's a Scourge against the Invulnerable uh, Colossus. The Invulnerable Colossus is just going to keep on pushing, keep on pushing. He does uh, use his um, his uh, Dark Swarm to protect himself. Blackout being used, fantastic, right when the um, right when the, uh, the, uh, the, the Invulnerability wore off. He's going to be shot with the uh, Blackout. He can't commit any further. And that really saved him right there with uh, Agamemnon's Blackout ability. Uh, upgraded the uh, $400 ability. Uh, did, you know, uh, cost a whole bunch, but it was definitely worth it right there. Saved his buddy up there. The Guardian does have the Guardian Triangle, though, as I was kind of saying before I was, you know, uh, you know, stopped from <laughs> doing so. We got uh, the Scourge to do some whole bunch of damage. We got the Adrenal Overload to, uh, you know, restore some energy once things are used, and the Dark Swarm to repair yourself. It does, it costs 1,500 energy to uh, use Adrenal Overload, and it only heals, um, I think it's like 1,200 uh, life from uh, Dark Swarm. It's not necessarily the same, but it does more or less recoup your costs. And it does provide the area of uh, cover where you're not being hit. So these Tempests, if he was to use uh, Dark Swarm, would be covered right there. It doesn't decide it's worth it, and now he does. He's not going to try to take any more. The uh, Tempest said, hey, wait, is there a Guardian here? Oh, wait, no, there isn't. No, there is. Wait, there isn't. There they are. And they're gone. Looks like Mirari Plasma is going to move away. He's going to try to wait for his invulnerability to um, restore itself going to be another 40-ish seconds. Uh, we got Tempest and uh, the Sky Furies. The Sky Furies are the, um, you know, the house version of Tempests, um, and they're just going to do some siege damage against uh, whoever is able to be shot. Looks like, uh, I'll touch you, using Scourge, going to be hit. Uh, he's going to be hit by uh, the feedback as well, though. Cloaking Field is available. Cloaking Field is a fantastic Arbiter ability, which, uh, cloaks nearby friendly units. While active, the Arbiter cannot be cloaked by another Arbiter. Makes some, makes some sense. Um, it basically provides a little area of cloaking. If you can't see, you can't shoot. However, as an Arbiter, that does put yourself at risk. Generally worth it, though, if you're trying to save your friends. We got Computer moving back. The computer went for that lockdown. Fantastic choice. Uh, we have everybody except for uh, Zerg units can be locked down. Uh, so in this situation, it looks a little bit weird because you got one, two, three, ships right there that your lockdown just can't do. He, he would love to lock down that Leviathan, he can't. But when the other choices to lock down are Arbiters, uh, Ravens, Battle Cruisers, Battle Cruisers with Nuke especially, um, it's a good enough ability even if it can only affect three of the people. The three people that it can affect, it can affect really well. 
support units and uh, high damage dealing things. Uh, so it looks like Prime is going to try to find a place where he can shoot. He did spend a whole bunch of money on nuclear missile. He has about a thousand to, uh, to spend on other stuff to make up for that. Um, he's got uh, the Gerbs running away. The Gerbs uh, trying to run away from the Mirari Plasma. Mirari Plasma is at 1.71 speed. Does he does use that invulnerability shield. No abilities except for Vortex would really affect him right now. Um, and there's no Vortex on the, on the blue side. Um, no secret carriers here. We got uh, Prime. Prime has Nuke. He actually can use it right now. The Blackout being used, but he wants to just escape right there. The Gerbs, the Gerbs at about 1,000 life, 2.02 speed. He's definitely going to make it back to base unless he, like, you know, stops to make a, uh, you know, a, a, a bathroom breaker or, you know, t text somebody that he barely survived. But um, he will survive with uh, 229. Um, and there we go. He is healed. We got Abathur. Uh, he has 81 money. Now that wasn't because he wasn't farming. That's because he was able to spend his money in in uh, in field. Um, anytime that he's not taking damage, it's a special Leviathan ability, which is super helpful. Um, it looks like uh, I'll touch you has about 200 left. Uh, JJ Beast has about 669. Nice. Um, looks like he can spend it on a whole bunch of stuff. Has a uh, siphon energy. Has a uh, side blast and uh, has plague. Um, looks like he could go for some other stuff. He's not doing that at the moment. He wants to get that little bit of money right around here. Does see this little cluster of stuff. Happens to have a uh, have a dreadnought in it, and uh, that's never great. He's gonna lost some scourge to make the dreadnought run away. Now the dreadnought has some some neat abilities. He has cover to block missiles in a close area. Um, he has explosive charge, and he has repair bots. He doesn't have any um, protective field though. And with that protective field, he, he's going to take the full damage of all the um, scourges that are coming at him. All a whole bunch of these. 270, uh, you know, life. He can use his repair bots. Will make it back to base. Um, Rory Plasma is uh, out of energy. Getting, getting uh, you know, feedback. And does Prime have lockdown? Not, not quite yet. But he's getting uh, blacked out. He's getting uh, EMP. He's getting not feedback to this force field. Uh, JJ Beast has uh, safe energy. Abathur moving back. Saw the uh, the the uh, cloak being used. Saw the tempest in the area. Even though he's the most tanky ship on the uh, blue side, uh, you know we're gonna consider Leviathan's uh, you know meat tanks, and he is doing it. He just didn't want to take all that damage forever. You saw the uh, acid spray being used, and <laughs> used again against Mirari Plasma. Looks like computer's gonna move on back. He's uh, flying around the sides. He was trying to farm up. He's got the lockdown, the defensive shield to, to uh, take more damage and uh, missile pods to do some damage in an area. Mostly anti-scourge uh, ability right there. And it looks like some cloak being used to protect everybody else. Stone Cold. Stone Cold got a thousand money right now. Do say, does he go back? No, he only has, uh, you know, cover. He has uh, repair bots and he has explosive charge. Uh, but he, he's missing out on the uh, dreadnought triangle, we're gonna call it, of um, repair bots, as well as uh, protective field and maybe some emergency shield. Beautiful, uh, uh, you know, uh, thermal lance being used against uh, the units right there. Tr great anti uh, scourge abilities. Do say going to move on in there. He's going to take a whole bunch of damage. He's going to fly away. He is close to the base, but uh, EMP'd just for his troubles right there. <laughs> it looks like uh, the uh, Stone Cold Tempest at 18 range, doing only 300 damage. Only 300 damage. Uh, you know, are, are trying to add this little layer of defense. Because he went for lower, uh, you know, Tempest, he has more money to spend on Interceptors, Interceptors, as well as some fantastic other abilities. Uh, interceptors, it's not only how many of them you have, he has, uh, you know, 19 range, he has uh, at least 13 right now. Uh, it looks like uh, Prime launching his nuke. Prime barely survives. 47, 45, 43, 42, 41. Give him some life. There we go. Nuke being used. We got, it will maybe hit Mirari Plasma, not quite enough to kill him right there. Both uh, the Gerbs and Agamemnon providing a little bit of support. And that 1.82 speed was barely able to make back. Against, uh, you know, a fully invincible, or invulnerable technically, uh, Mirari Plasma, who's going to limp back to base, mostly to heal his pride and also to maybe spend his like 50 money right there. We got a uh, Dulce Duce um, to uh, fly around. He is uh, has just 1.82 speed. He really needs to start spending some money on laser batteries. Uh, laser batteries will help him farm so he can make money a little bit more effectively. 
He has griffins. Griffins are fine, but it's yeah, it's relatively easy to forget to launch out the griffins, and if they get shot down, it still is more trusty, uh, reliable to use your laser batteries uh, in in combination. Don't forget about them. Effectively, um, looks like uh, you know Avatar gonna move on back. He's gonna be uh, you know healing himself. He's got the uh, rapid regeneration, and he's being feedback though, so he can't use it any further. 525 potential energy, but uh, out of energy right now, effectively. I'll touch you launching some Scourge. The, uh, the, the Thermal Lance was used, and it, uh, thanks to the um, thanks to the Chrono Boost, he was able to use it just again. He uh, was otherwise going to be on cooldown. The Thermal Lance cooldown was uh, quickened, and therefore he was able to use it again because he was being um, got Chrono Boosted. We got some uh, sneaky uh, blue side stuff on the blue s on the uh, stage left over here. Looks like it may or may not end up, end up working. We got um, Hegemetis trying to uh, do some damage against these interceptors. These interceptors are flying away. These uh, Stone Cold uh, Tempests are in a great position, though. They're in the gas. Avatar warping in just to take out some Tempest right there. Oh no, we got a, uh, you know, Marari Plasma behind enemy lines. Agamemnon is going to have to retreat. He knows he's protected by his uh, buddies, but he's not quite able to take on an invulnerable, vulnerable ship right there. Now everybody's around him. We got a nuke being launched. The nuke hit. The Scourge hit. The, uh, side blast hit. Marari Plasma is taking a whole bunch of damage. And Blackout being used as well. Blackout against everybody. Prime taken out, though, by the computer, uh, with a nuke. We got Marari Plasma taken out by a team kill. Uh, using probably the uh, explosive charge, the explosive charge did take out uh, his own ally uh, because it also did some, did some splash down and do other stuff. We got these scourge coming on there to do a little bit more damage against the computer, not quite able to take him out. Two on the red side uh, for one on the blue side. Uh, the one on the blue side um, was uh, the battle cruiser. We got um, uh, the, the uh, colossus uh, taken out by the uh, on the red side right there. And it looks like Stone Cold gonna fly in there. He's got the Tempest. He's uh, flying around, putting them close to the Sky Furies. Basically, two of the two uh, levels of sieges are better than one. Got the in Interceptors on the Gurs, uh, but with the uh, support of Agamemnon as well as the rest of the team, they're able to take out the Interceptors. Interceptors are fan freaking fantastic at taking out, um, you know, light support units. Uh, the light support units happen to be supporting each other. Uh, power of friendship, right there, really protecting the Gurbs. Uh, with 179, he's going to make it back to base. He's got 30 phase disruptors. Like, he hasn't not upgraded his phase disruptors, uh, but the interceptors are always, you know, uh, better when you can do area of effect against them because there's just so many of them. Agamemnon has 8, burst lasers at 24. I'll touch you. Has uh, needle spines 22 uh, in his abilities. Doesn't have anything like uh, broodling strikes, acid spores, stuff like that. So he's mostly focusing on his uh, scourge, launching 18 scourges at a time. Each scourge does 100 and uh, has 120 life and does up to 250 area damage. Uh, and looks like we're gonna go for some sneaky raven stuff over here on the on the uh, left side. The last time this happened, the uh, red side was able to um, was able to know. But right now they don't have the battle cruiser with like scanner sweep. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna fly all the way around, like really trying to push it. What they're trying to do is get to like here-ish. Uh, they're kind of cutting the angle right now. We got a um, Leviathan. No, the JJ Beast Overlord jumping on in there. The red side is kind of wise to what's happening, but not quite in the same position. Will like a man set up the uh, tempest? He can't set them up in the in the gas. He does set them up back here. That means that they're kind of blocked this vision. They're gonna fly around him. There we go. Now they see the um the blue side. Will this be enough? Avatar jumping on in there. Avatar using that uh, interception ability to uh, jump on in there. We got this uh, scourge coming in. He's gonna he use his frenzy, frenzy to do extra damage against Dulce, who doesn't have any uh, armor and is being held up by the Gerbs. That means that the uh, red side is gonna have to really decide whether they want to save him or not. They do try to save him. They're gonna set up the um, uh, Tempest right there. Blackout being used on one, two, three ships right there. Though we got JJ Beast jumping in there, trying to use some, do some damage. He did a whole bunch with his uh, with his side blast and then followed up with some plague. We're gonna launch it again against Duce and Duce is gone. Deuces to Duce. Um, we got uh, the uh, at Interceptors though, almost taking out Agamemnon. We had actually had Agamemnon is uh, 500 burning down. Give him some life, the Gerbs. The Gerbs gives him just a little bit of shields. Uh, it's gonna start burning his, uh, recharging his shields uh, right there. The, uh, the burning ability means that he's below 25% health and uh, when you give him some shields, he stops burning and starts burning shields. Space physics, I suppose. 
Uh, but it does help him get on back to base now with about 3,000 in um, you know, shield life as well as his, as his 503. He should be able to get back to base. These interceptors, though, fantastic again against doing stuff. Avatar doing some asset spray, even if it doesn't uh, some effect uh, to his allies, it's still pretty much worth it because because uh, JJB is just flying away. He's flying away. 1.92 speed, only two armor though. These interceptors are doing. 62 damage every shot. So 62 damage every shot. They have 25 upgrades, so they have 12.5 uh, Protoss plating, 12.5 uh, Protoss plasma shields, and uh, with that, pretty much anyone who's not doing, uh, tr you know, more than 13-ish uh, upgrades is really not going to be able to survive. These overlords, though, very squishy, very hard to upgrade. Uh, their health, as well as all the cool abilities that you'd want, because he's spending so much on his offense abilities: Psy Blast, Plague, Siphon Energy. Psionic Shockwave, Warp, um, because he has good speed, because he has good Mutalisks, and because you know, he even went for Energy Blast to uh, defend himself, he doesn't have enough money to do everything. It's very hard to make um, ships that are not inherently tanky uh, able to survive Interceptors. They can, you can do it, it just costs extra money, it's not necessarily your focus at the moment. Fantastic use of uh, Dark Swarm. Even if you, there was not going to shoot him too, much, too often, don't want to take too many shots right there. We got to the uh, red side, they're retreating. There is a nuke available. Avatar, pretty thick though. Uh, 19,000 life. He upgraded from, up from uh, uh, 14,000. JJ Beast finding out against these interceptors how deadly they really can be. Uh, he got interceptors doing a whole bunch of damage though. He doesn't have any armor, but it's not even that his, really his fault because armor is not great on an overlord. It's just barely enough to survive. He can't heal himself. He has to go back to base eventually. He's trying to be greedy. He's trying to get. Uh, that extra little bit of money though, because he knows he's an important damage dealer. Uh, he, he, his uh, side blast, 3250 plus 250 versus bio and shields, minus 250 versus mech, basically 3250 um, guaranteed damage, uh, is uh, fantastic against anything that it can shoot at, um, at 13 range. He's a big flying gun, he's a big flying gun that's very squishy. Um, it's like, you know, uh, it's like the Hindenburg that can, that can launch nukes. Um, hydrogen all the way. We got um, Agamemnon flying around trying to protect uh, Al Tachu. Uh, but with that, he knows he's uh, injured. He's not trying to get too close to ships because one or two rounds of uh, even okay computers, um, long boat missiles, 151 each uh, missile, attacking nine times at 10 range. I'm not fantastic at math. It's only one or two rounds uh, if you only have about 3,000 life. Avatar gonna move on back. He's gonna slap his. Uh, his, uh, you know, tentacles against these interceptors. The interceptors are upgraded even further at 30, 15 armor each one of these uh, little boys. And he's launching so many of them. He can just keep on warping them back in as well. Uh, it, the warp in for interceptors takes a long time. But, I mean, theoretically his interceptors shouldn't be dying all the time either. But when they do, he can upgrade them further. Right now he actually can't, ha only has a maximum of 14. He can upgrade his interceptors even further. It looks like OK Computer is going to get uh, fantastic uh, coverage right there. Uh, he used his own missile pods to do air effect 125 plus 125 from the electromagnetic storm. Uh, really just killed off those uh, scourge right there. And if uh, Al Tachu's main thing that he was trying to do was scourge, that's a really big threat to his uh, ability to do damage. He can use some of that, uh, you know, 736 to try to do something else, like you know his brutally strikes, his acid spores. But it's very tempting once you're committed to something as heavily as he is to kind of get tunnel vision and do that. Also, it's very helpful whenever they are not killed. Whenever they're not killed, he's launching 18 Scourges at something. That can do a whole bunch of damage. 18 times uh, 250 uh, per Scourge. Looks like JGB is going to warp in, and then also decide that those Interceptors are indeed a danger, uh, and better for, to let the Leviathan try to take uh, the damage than for him to. There we go. All the, the acid spray and all that, all that funky stuff. He's able to, uh, you know, survive against these interceptors. They're still kicking though. Agamemnon moving in there. He his upgraded his burst lasers pretty well. He's gonna EMP as well. He's gonna have to fly away. The uh, Tempest is still alive. There we go. Finally taken out, which unfortunately means that a uh, uh, Stone Cold can just warp him back in. You can only warp in uh, up to three Tempests at a time. You can't just like make thirty Tempests and uh, you know uh, one eight one eight your way to combat. But um. You can uh, you can uh, make your three tempests the best they uh, can right there. We got battle station being used. No, the battle station doesn't necessarily have any um, abilities. However, the EMP also does shield damage, trying to do as much damage as possible. Um, 
Now the second one was a little bit less less helpful right there because there wasn't any shields left. But was the uh, blue side able to pick up the tower? Not quite. The Tempest are coming on in there. Uh, 19 range, 320. The Tempest are not the most heavy Tempest we've ever seen seen here, but it was enough to scare them off. We got Avatar uh, in the danger zone. He is flying around. He's trying to protect uh, you know his uh, his allies right there. But these interceptors are on the Gerbs. The Gerbs flying away. He has uh, you know. Five opens are on his uh, plasma shields, meaning he only has eight armor interceptors, which do 76. It's 76 minus eight. It's still pretty darn high. Um, computer moving on in there. He's going to move on in there with his long point missiles. He's going to try to just attack. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. 1.82 speed. The angle's not quite there yet. The Gerbs does run away. 2.02 speed. Uh, Arbiters are just speedy ships. Um, so it costs him... Uh, I think that is the... Uh, 400 upgrade to get to 2.02 speed. OK Computer would have to spend more money um, than he might want to deem necessary. Ooh, look at this little like shifty shifty boy right there. This is a um, this is a, a fake uh, Arbiter. He created a, a copy, and it's just gonna fly around. It doesn't. It just spies. It does a little. It can tank damage. It just you know. Uh, it's basically Overlord bait. This Overlord JG Beast. Ooh, look at this! Look at this uh, tasty Arbiter right there. What are you gonna do with him? I think he realizes that he's not gonna waste a uh, side blast on it, but that's the entire objective. Avatar does use his uh, frenzy, does kill off the fake one, and uh, he's gonna f keep on flying in there. He thinks he's angry at them. Uh, we've got a blackout on Stone Cold, and this <laughs> gigantic Leviathan is just trying to slap it out whatever he possibly can. He has a maximum of uh, two thousand uh, twenty uh, twenty thousand life. But about half of it's uh, taken away right now. Still, that half of it with the uh, you know 14,000 life is as much as the Guardian has even at full health. Agonized, running away. Computer, use that lockdown. That lockdown doesn't drain that much energy. Uh, uh, drains 10 energy every second less for 10 seconds. Hmm, 100. But um, it also stops him from using any abilities during that 10 seconds. Um, so Stone Cold flying in there. Trying to provide some uh, interceptor support, as well as these Tempests just slowly moving on in there. We got a computer taking a whole bunch of damage because he's the fake computer. Ooh, he did actually use the acid on him right there, and now it's gone. He's angry. He's going to use the, uh, the Hulk button and uh, try to do some frenzy damage, but he can't quite take on the um, red side uh, right there. Battle Station staying alive. Every 10 minutes, the Battle Station gets a little bit more upgraded uh, to his, uh, to his I'm going to gender the uh, Battle Station, to its... Um, you know, uh, Terran ship plating, as well as uh, Terran plasma shields, basically just, uh, you know, a little bit of armor count. Uh, doesn't necessarily do any more damage, though. 200 is still a lot, though, and now it's gone. 200 is still uh, still alive. The Gerbs, these interceptors are still alive. Uh, the Gerbs taking a whole bunch of damage, the interceptors are still alive, even though the, uh, even though the uh, carrier is, uh, you know, in stasis mode right now. Computer moving in there, almost able to take out Agamemnon. So about 200 life. Actually, the Gerbs has to pretty much give him some life. He may be able to get back with 2.02 uh, speed, but it's going to be quite close. We got Computer being healed. We got Scourge flying in there. He's going to get some extra life. The Scourge are actually attacking on a uh, on, on shift, and JJ Beast pushes people away into the base. Doesn't quite take them out though. We got uh, the Computer barely surviving. He has uh, so much shields. That's great. He has the 10 shield, which is fantastic does give him some ability to ha get some shield recharge, even though he might be taking damage. And also, 13 armor, it's not great, um, but it is something. And with that, especially with the help of the Arbiter right there, um, was able to take it. Plus the Scourge targeted the Arbiter instead. We got Stone Cold flying in there. Stone Cold on the fake Stone Cold. Um, we're going to call him Austin and 316 over here. So 316 is going to move over to the side. He's going to fly around. Now, Abathur, when he looks on the mini-map, you can kind of tell that this is a dot instead of a, uh, you know, uh, a carrier shape. Uh, but when you're flying, you don't, you just see this as a normal thing. So let's see if we can actually do that. We've got the, uh, Abathur, no. Okay, we did do that. Every button. We got this. Ooh, resources A, none. Um... Didn't quite work, but basically what you uh, what you can see is just a two carriers. You have to just know for yourself. One of them doesn't look like he's flying correctly. No carrier would really fly that close in, close to Leviathan unless he's totally faking it, in which case he did. Um, looks like he's gonna get angry though. He's gonna try to keep on flying against um, computer. Now he has the uh, 
that interception will he end up using that to get a little bit closer he does he's gonna zealot charge into there these scourge are gonna fly in there and they do so much damage he's gonna scare away shift shift is the uh you know uh the beautiful uh, protected by stone cold just enough time to use that um to use that vortex on it shift is going to be a little bit uh, aggressive right here we got a oh, computer computer has nuke the Leviathan has so much health though you kind of need to nuke he does nuke is that going to be enough oh yeah the nuke is actually against jj beast jj beast has a lot less health um it will make it back possibly he will be nuked keep on flying the angles are so close oh he just barely gets out of there nuke is about 1.82 speed he has 1.92 speed but the angle is also just barely enough he would have survived. Survived. He would have survived, uh, but that wouldn't. That would have been pretty darn close. He would have been about, you know, at a, about six thousand life, and he wouldn't have been able to do that big flying gun uh, with any relative safety. Looks like uh, Stone Cold, because the uh, vortex has been used. It has about sixty couple seconds to uh, get back. He can uh, warp in Tempest now, and if he will, he's got twelve thousand, twelve thousand, twelve hundred money. Shift just spent all of their money. Uh, computer just spent theirs. Uh, Longbow missiles, 172 at 10 range, shooting nine times. What he wants to do is get close, do something against uh, you know this big block of uh, Zerg stuff right there. Abathur, even though he has uh, uh, 30 armor, he has the ability to get more armor as he gets more hurt, uh, as you see the plus 75. Uh, he is the tank, he is meaty. But his most most attacks are through the tentacles. The tentacles are only ever at five range. He did upgrade the bios one. That's fine at ten range. But it only attacks four times. You can't upgrade how many times it attacks, and uh, therefore he's not a missile uh, boat as much as as a computer right now. Now computer didn't didn't just go for missiles. He went for a whole bunch of other stuff. So he's kind of balanced it out though. He's had some from multiple roles though as the lockdown person, as the nuke person, as the scatter person, as the missile person, uh, just because there's less and less people. I'll touch you. Launching some scourge, the scourge is just going to kind of fly in there and, and be taken out as well. Uh, third, moving back. JJ Beast uh, has basically the press a button and, you know, do an ability, um, you know, uh, build. He has side blast, he has plague, he has contaminate. He's got that psionic shockwave and siphon energy. Pretty much whatever you want to do, uh, you can do uh, if you press a button. But with that, he uh, still just, you know, can't uh, get over the fact that he is kind of more squishy. So he has to always be careful of these interceptors. JJB is launching. Man, that shot right there. It's a th upgrade a little more. 3565. Uh, it almost takes out the, uh, the Arbiter. It basically would two shot the Arbiter if he, if he goes into, um, into his whole damage. And so if he's flying around at low shields, he is really susceptible to like one or two shots. Or we'll one or two shots, uh, you know, plus his uh, allies. Computer does take that plague. Let's find out if Computer has, um, has uh, what he probably should have at this point, the, uh, the um, Biosteel. Plague lasts for a long time, by the way. You can see his uh, little defensive shield. And yes, he in fact does have Biosteel. He more than likely spent the 50 bucks of, uh, you know, uh, the Fire Extinguisher ability as well. Um, auto Suppression uh, System. And, uh, you know, both of those things help him be a little bit more tanky. Um, the Overlord can use Plague. Always a great idea to, to do that. However, if he's uh, not in combat, he should be able to be healed. Sneaky Leviathan going around the side. Look how much health he has. He has 40 base armor, plus he gets uh, more every time that he, um, you know, takes uh, some some amount of damage. He's going to fly around the side. Does the red side see this? They're kind of uh, in the middle. They don't seem like they're flying back as much as they were last time. I mean, they want to be close to be these Tempests. These Tempests are doing 460 at 19 range, but will this be uh, a little bit too cocky now, now? Now, they do have two abilities. They have... Oh, no, he doesn't have holdup. Uh, there is the Vortex still available. we got a shift making so many distractions right now. Nuke available. Every every ability is uh, available for these people. But uh, Stone Cold warps on back to base. We got sh a computer move uh, warping on back to base as well. Shift is trying to be sneaking. He's got 1.91 speed. The angle's pretty good though. But he's running out of math. Will this be enough? He's gonna keep on trying to fly away. There is um, 
one big shot from uh, the side blast, blackout being used, plague being used, uh, scourge being attacking, and beautiful shot by a uh, by stone cold hitting the um hitting the the raven right where it hurts, right next to these uh, tempests. These tempests are being targeted now. With the two of them alive, you can't warp in anymore, but they are in a fantastic abil range right there. Look at this coverage. This coverage range is going to hit uh, everybody right there. Fantastic use of blackout uh, of uh, dark storm right there protect uh, the very vulnerable, uh, you know, Raven. The Raven is still flying around, is still uh, flying against inter interceptors. Once these interceptors hit them, there's not that many left, but they are upgraded 35 times, 82 damage per shot. The 13 armor that, uh, that the uh, uh, turn ship plating provides and the burst lasers are just, you know, the best he can possibly do. But uh, it's not quite going to be great for interceptors, though. You got Scourge being launched. Scourge doing some damage against the, against the command center. Stone Cold as far back in, as possible as he can be. The he is more protected. Hold up being used. Hold up being used against the computer. The computer is very close to base, though. These tempests are going to slowly move on up there. Uh, they are going to provide some layer of protection. Abathur are going to take that right there. The Gerbs holding on for dear life. And uh, we got a great use of uh, defensive shield just in time to protect himself. These, uh, yeah, the mothership, mothership is doing what it can to heal, and computers are going to move on in there. JJB is doing some damage to the, uh, command center. Interceptors moving in. Interceptors, uh, still a massive threat. Yeah, JJB is, who wants to do some damage. The mothership is at, a you know, out of shields, but has about, you know, a quarter of its overall life. It's half of its whole life, but it's a quarter of its overall life, uh, still available. But the, uh, all three of the red side is around it. It's very low, though. It's only got 3,000 life left. And will this be enough? They are going to try to move on in there. We got the Bobby Hill get away from that, that, that's, that's our first I don't know you button. The nuke being used. Command Center taken out by JGB. He decides to go for the, uh, you know, the, the Command Center instead of the, um, uh, you know, the, the capital ships. And that's the other way of, way of uh, winning. So it looks like that is going to be just good enough. Blackout being used. And this, they're just going to murder the, the, the people who are already lost. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys press uh, like, press subscribe. Uh, make sure you send your replays to mafiamancasting at gmail.com. Press like, press subscribe. We're doing StarCraft Star Battle all the time.